welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a really handy, cool little trick that I discovered recently to deal with your fonts. So a lot of times I have an invitation, I'll start out with something like this where I write out their names and then I try and figure out what fonts I want to use. So what that normally looks like if I'm doing this in Illustrator is just scrolling all the way through here looking at various things. Maybe I click on a couple that I like and, you know, go with the invitation suite. Maybe I go back, maybe I forget the name of a couple. Maybe I always end up using the ones at the beginning of the alphabet because <laughs> I get tired of scrolling. Um, whenever I get to these intellectas, my computer freezes a little bit. So just so many different options and especially the further you get into design, the more options you're going to have. So you might get some fonts and then just totally forget, like, this is really cool. And I've had this one for a long time and I've totally forgotten about it. May not be the vibe you're going for, but, you know, when you do have one that is that vibe, you want to remember that font and you want to remember where it is. You may not always remember what it's called. So this is a not super convenient process. So this solution here, I'm going to open up So the solution here is called WordMark. And so if you're using Chrome, then you want to download the extension, which will come up as an option the first time you try to use it. You just download the extension, which will get all of your fonts and sync them with WordMark. If you're not using Chrome, you'll probably have to use Flash Player to do that, which is totally fine. Um, I just choose to do it this way instead. And basically, all you have to do is type in your word or phrase. And then press enter. What this does is it pulls up all of your fonts with Anastasia's name in them. From what I can tell, it's not in alphabetical order. I believe it's kind of in um, order of when you either last used them or installed them, something like that. I installed all of these uh, yesterday. So it's, I don't really know the order. I think if you go with a pro account, you can probably filter it by different things. But if you don't want to pay for it, um, you can still do this for free. And you just kind of keep scrolling. And whenever you get to the end, you'll keep scrolling. So I kind of like that it's not in any particular order because you're not going to always end up using the same fonts because they start with A. Um, so you just kind of keep scrolling down until you find one that you like. And I think that's super fun. So there's really not much to it. Um, you can increase or decrease the font size. If you try to go with the dark background and white text, you can still scroll through it, but a box will pop up telling you to um, upgrade to the paid version. I really like this one right here, which is La Bohemia. I'll link that one for you guys below um, on the website that I usually find a lot of great fonts. And um, you can also change it to all lowercase. It does take a minute to load because I have like 400 fonts in here. <laughs> or uppercase if you want. Of course, if we're using uh, calligraphy fonts, we don't want uppercase because that's super weird. But it's a really great way to just explore the fonts that you do have. Um, even just looking through it right here, I'm like, oh, I need to go back and check <laughs> a couple of these fonts because I haven't used them. Especially print fonts that we like, I always end up just gravitating toward the same three or four print fonts all over the place. Dido is one of them. So it's just really good to go back and see what you've got in your library. Maybe you've downloaded some stuff from Creative Market for free on their free goods every week. Um, I'll link that below too if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But it's just a great way to go through and see what you've got and revitalize. It's kind of like Marie Kondoing for your font game. So I really love this tool. I just discovered it recently and have used it on pretty much every job since then. And I've got some really great font uh, pairings out of it. So let me know what you think. So as a reminder, this is just wordmark.it. You'll want to download the little Chrome extension if you're using it on Chrome. 
or you might want to download the Adobe Flash Player if you're using it on a different browser. But thanks everyone for joining in. Uh, let us know what you think of this fun little trick. And as always, like and subscribe to our channel for more conversations, tips, and tutorials for creative business owners. Thanks, everyone.